So I did all my research. I watched all the wallet comparison videos on YouTube. I even put a wallet in my online cart as a backup so that in case I went to the store and they were all sold out, I could just quickly buy it online. And then I went into the store and I ended up buying this one. Hi guys, welcome back. And as you probably saw from the little clip in the beginning that this video is going to be about a wallet review and not just any wallet review, but the LV Zoe wallet. I already gave you guys a little backstory, so I'll do a quick recap. I was convinced that I needed the micro wallet from Louis Vuitton and the reason for that is because ever since I bought the Alma BB bag, my existing wallet, which would be this guy here, it's not able to fit comfortably into the handbag. Now it looks like it's gonna fit. It looks like it's gonna fit. You can see like it looks like it's gonna fit, but then what happens is when I try to close the bag, no matter how far down I stick the wallet, there's a bit of a wobble in the zip. Like the zipper is not aligned properly and there's a, you can see this, there's a bit of like D-shaping to the zip and I didn't want my bag to be D-shaped. So I decided that I was going to upgrade or change my wallet and that was why I had to do the whole research and everything. I'm a kind of person who, Every time I have to buy something, I do my full research. I very rarely do impulse buys because for me, in the past, every impulse buy, every impulse purchase has always resulted in the inevitable buyer's remorse. And I hate that. I hate that feeling that, you know, I bought something and then I, it's just, it's not working for me. I don't like it. I don't like making returns. So anyway, let's go ahead, start the video with the, I'm not going to say unboxing, is it gonna be unboxing? Okay, kind of unboxing. Because I needed to use this right away, I did not get this gift wrap at all. But this is the standard uh, LV packaging that comes with your items. So it's still pretty cool to look at. So here is the bag. There we go. And inside is my little box. It contains my wallet. So, oops, here it is. Uh, what else is in here? It's just the, oops, I'm clumsy today. It's just my LV uh, folder, which holds my receipt. So two items in the back today. Um, let's go ahead and open this guy up. I love the fact that they give like cardboard boxes for everything. And here it goes, there's actually a drawer. This is my first wallet from LV, so I'm really excited. Bing, bing, bear with me. <laughs> Okay, so here it goes. And inside the drawer is this. I what is wrong with me today? The dust bag. The dust bag, girl. Okay, so here's the dust bag. And inside the dust bag. Ta da! Here it is. The Zoe wallet. Isn't this super cute? Oh my god, I swear to you, when I went into the store and she bought out the different wallet options, I told her that I needed the smallest wallet, so she bought out the Micro, she bought out the Zoe. I told her not to give me the Victorian because that's like much bigger than what I was looking for, but then she bought this one out and she put the Micro wallet out, and then I saw the Micro wallet, and I saw this one, and I was like, love, love this one. I want this one. I Literally, my mind just went like, Micro wallet? What micro wallet? Huh? Huh? No, Zoe, Zoe, we're gonna get this one. So this is their Zoe wallet and this is in their, um, I think this is their newest prints for this year. Am I a little late? I'm always late to everything. But for me, this is the newest one. This is their monogram and the monogram reverse. So I believe this is the monogram reverse. This is the monogram giant and then the monogram reverse in the back. The micro wallet, however, um, I have putting up a picture here. So the micro wallet just comes in this pattern all over. This one, however, comes in this gorgeous, uh, two-tone, two-patterned look. So it has the LV monogram button here in the center. And then there is a pocket, a slip pocket in the back. And inside is this grained leather. And look at this, made in France. So there's a little story behind why I chose this wallet. And I will tell you once we finish going over the wallet itself. It has one pocket, 
two pockets, three, four. So there are four credit card uh, slots or pockets inside and there's one at the back as I showed you guys before, right here. And then it has one zippered pocket for coins or small keys or whatever you else you might wanna put in here. And then the best part is that it has a full bill compartment. So a full on bill compartment, no more folding your bills in half or just, you know, like rolling them up and squishing them. I hate that. And this is just a perfect wallet for me because look at this, when you're done with everything, it's super tiny. I'm gonna compare it with my Gucci wallet because I, I wanna show you guys. This is my Gucci wallet. This is the horse from the horse bit collection. Oops. And this is the LV wallet. So you guys can see height wise, there's a slight difference of a couple of centimeters, but width wise, look at that. And this was what was this width of the wallet, what was what was causing the majority of problems for me because it's so wide and like clunky and bulky. It was not allowing my Alma to close properly and I definitely needed a skinnier wallet. So look at this from the sides. It's pretty skinny and then height wise, there's also, this much difference between the two of them so there we go and while i you know like this wallet like i said because it because of the fact that it was not fitting in my bag i just did not want to ruin my bag shape so i went for this one and and i'm going to transfer quickly my items in this so you guys can see how much it can hold so i have a couple of cards i don't have all of my cards here but i'm going to transfer these are my cards so we are going to go ahead and put them in so there's my first credit card just like my second one in here and then this is my Tabola gift card that's gonna go in here and then my driver's license I usually like to keep it on the outside along with my ID because it's easier to take it uh, in and out and oh actually my driver's license is right here so I can show you guys so my driver's license this is gonna go right over here and then I have some cash in here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bills in here. And I'm gonna put them right inside. So I have eight bills and they fit in comfortably and I have one, two, three, four cards. So eight bills and four cards. And you can see that it closes perfectly look at that and it's not like bulking out or anything like a lot of wallets too it's not bulking out either so that is perfect and the best part is i'm going to test it now i actually did test it in the store but i'm going to test it out again this is my alma baby it's already filled with all of my stuff if you are interested in seeing what things i put inside my alma baby i'll link the video up here so you guys can see that video and there goes the zoe wallet in here and now let's do the test the test of closing the bag. Oh my god, it closes! Look at that, it closes perfectly. There's no awkward bulge at the top. My all my baby bag is saved, and all thanks to the Zoe. Okay, so now I'm gonna tell you guys really quickly why I chose the Zoe over the micro wallet. Both wallets are approximately the same size. Um, the Zoe measures 9.5 by 7.5 by three centimeters in width, whereas the micro wallet is 9.5 by 7.2 by 1.5 centimeters. So it's just slightly thinner. It's half the width of the Zoe, otherwise it almost looked the same. However, what drew me to the Zoe wallet was a couple of things. Number one, it was this gorgeous, gorgeous contrast pattern that they have going on there. I've had a bag before in the LV monogram print. I'll link the video up here. It was my very, very first uh, LV bag, the LV Neverfull in the medium size. So I've ha had that print, uh, the LV monogram print for quite a while. And I do like it, but I felt like on its own, it was just too plain. This one, because they've added this monogram giant print in the front, and then they've added this contrasting uh, canvas print in the back I felt like it just was more attractive like I, I really liked looking at it and it just jumped out at me also the micro wallet there was no pocket for coins like there was no zip pocket this zippered pocket here um, and while that's not so much of a concern I do like to have like a couple of a couple of coins with me 
just because you might want to put it into parking meter or when I go grocery shopping, sometimes the cards need a coin in them in order for you to be able to use the card. One of the biggest uh, factors for me that completely put me off buying the micro wallet and this might be a thing for some of you guys or it might not matter to a lot of you guys but to me it just it's an important factor for me especially when i'm buying a bag from lv that was that the zoe wallet if you guys can see it says right here it's made in france right because lv is a french brand whereas the micro wallet when my sa brought it out and she put it in front of me on the counter and i opened it up it said made in spain and I don't know, I mean, I maybe I've, I'm being paranoid and I've seen like a lot of reviews online where it says that, you know, the made in Spain ones um, or the made in the US ones are not as high of a quality as the made in uh, France ones. So that kind of like stuck with me somewhere in the back of my head. And so every time I go to the LV store, I make sure that I ask or I look for it on the bag itself that is it made in France or is it made in USA or Spain? And if it's made in USA or Spain, even if I like the bag, I will not buy it. I will pass up on that. So I know it's like a bit of a peeve with me. I don't know. I'm totally like, it's a deal breaker for me. I mean, can you imagine? I did the research on the micro wallet and everything and I had my mind set up that I was going to buy it. And this one is also slightly more expensive. The micro wallet is 1900 dirhams here in the UA. This one is actually 2310, I believe. It's not a very huge jump, but you know, my mind was set that I was going to be under 2000 for the wallet and then I saw this and the ugh, all logic flew out the door and I was like I'm getting this and I got it so yep it is here and it is gorgeous and um, if you guys own the Zoe wallet do let me know what you guys think of it and how it's working on for you thank you guys for watching this video I hope it was informational for you and you guys enjoyed it and do leave down your comments and tell me which LV wallet is your favorite make sure you subscribe to the channel I do try to post once a week if life allows it. If not, then definitely once every two weeks. Thank you so much for watching again and have a nice day.